it doesn't matter if if the coach is like shoot more sh threes and these guys are more comfortable in the mid range if you don't get buying. Hey, McCoy. We've had conversations throughout the regular season with this, but a lot of it kind of hit a peak talking point as far as the coaching goes towards the end of the season and since the season has ended to now because we got the whole uh, Kevin Young talking about wanting to run five out, shoot lots of threes. We got the whole Frank Vogel wanting a point guard. And then there's just a lot of rumors swirling around the coaching staff asking the players to shoot more threes. All of us asking them to shoot more threes. And then the players not shooting more threes. Do you think if you had a coach who really valued that, would it make a difference when you with this group of guys that you have currently, knowing that your starting five is all under contract? So in theory, there is an opportunity for all of them to be your starting five next season too. Not, not if they don't have buy-in. Like it doesn't matter if if the coach is like shoot more sh threes, and these guys are more comfortable in the mid range if you don't get buy-in and I'm not saying they have to completely abandon the mid range, the bread and K butter that they do. Uh, yeah. That Katie has to abandon uh, those, uh, those uh, on the block, you know, getting a chance to, to work in that mid area, but you definitely have to make it a bigger part of your offense. You need more motion in this offense and look at that. And I get it. Three is worth more than twos. We saw, what their record was when they shot 40 or more. And I think you can find a balance where you still are effective from mid range and you're getting to that 30, 35, 40, uh, you know, three pointers a game attempt. There's a way to get there, but without the, the three main guys buying in, it won't matter if that's your strategy.